When war corrupts the land, there's coin to be made and loyalties to be changed. Lords need new knights and knights need new lords. And from that simple need, anything can happen. My father learned that long ago when he fought for Tywin Lannister across the seas over 20 years ago now, fighting in the War of Nine Petty Kings, making his name in the Stepstones. When he returned to the Westerlands, he was rewarded with gold and a bride, both of which he abused until they were gone. I had been birthed of that unhappy union. Named Kevin, after the Knight of House Lannister, a friend of my father's. By the time I was a year old, my mother was gone. I had no time to know of her, and my father never spoke of her. All I know is that my father cared for me more than anything in his life. He tried to settle down, for a time, to care and raise me. But the life of a settled man did no good for him. Soon after, he put me into the care of my grandmother, and he returned to the service of House Lannister. Not really for gold, he no longer had need of it. Merely for the pleasure of a good... Honest day's work. Lord Tywin respected that in some way. Once I was of age to be a good squire, father took me from his mother's house and granted a dull blade to me, stating we'd never return to that home again. We would live on the roads, learn from the world around us. You see, my father was not merely a knight of blade and skill, he was a knight of mind. Far more intelligent and more cunning than those around him, known for a silver tongue and a sharpened knife. The tenets of honour that some knights followed felt to him like a trap that kept them from truly excelling. While other squires may have learned how to speak to nobles, my father taught me how to whisper in a noble's ear, say the exact words they were hoping for. While others learned tenets of chivalry, my father taught me the powers you held when you put a knife to a man's throat. How much they squeal. For Lord Tywin, we continued our work, collecting debts, cleaning crime in manners the Crown and Lord Guards would consider unruly, and protecting Castly Rock from any rabble would seek to disturb the balance of the rock. We were good at what we did. We were proud of what we did. What was so wrong with that? By the time of sixteen, I was a wealthy knight, more focused on the fineries of dress than the need of armour. To be knighted at such an age was an honour befitting of my work. For the law, of course, and my finesse with the blade and finesse of the mind. Father was proud of me and work was good. Then came that rebellion. Our Lord Tywin did not raise banners at first. He was ever the wise man we expected of him and chose to strike when it was opportune, to watch both sides to see how the tides would turn and turn. Soon he marched towards King's Landing. My father told me to join him, while well, he stayed home. And so I did. There was no clue within our camp which side he would fight for when we arrived at the capital. Cries of glory for the king were met with glances and hushed words. I had expected personally that when we arrived at King's Landing, the tides would be clear the dragon would be weak. When we arrived, Lord Tywin claims to be loyal to the king, and called for the gates to be opened. <laughs> By then, we all knew what side we took. It was a bloody day. It's hard to remember much of what happened, other than the screams and fire, swords cutting down soldiers and children alike, Lannister men breaking into homes to claim the women, inside and cutting down the men daring to speak against it. It was sinful, it was disgraceful. Yet it's what had to be done to let the mad king know his time was over. We were in the capital, but not yet the Red Keep. The only way to open those gates was by leaving none before it. In the flurry of battle, I slew many a gold cloak. In the presence of Tywin himself, a few. I was able to best the Reachman and a Targaryen knight with ease before him drenching them in their own blood. I was ruthless, unstoppable. By the time we pushed out of the main city, I'd established myself as a force to be feared. Soon, Lord Craighall and a group of his men had pushed forth, and he called on me to fight alongside him. I saw no reason not to do so. I pushed forth towards the keep, alongside Sir Westerling and Lord Craighall, and a dozen other knights. All other fledgling knights held the rear and continued to fighting on the steps. 
we pushed through into the keep, slaying all in our path to see a red lion in white armor with his blade deep within the back of the Mad King. The King Slayer, some would call him. What I saw was a man who had seen fit to end bloody war by his own hands. May not have been honorable, no. But neither was anything that happened that day in King's Landing. And after all, who am I to judge? We returned from the keep and celebrated heartily. A new king was crowned and peace of the realm was restored. Yet all I knew is that for my heroism I was sure to receive a reward when we returned to the Westerlands. With how long my father had served and how effortlessly I had slayed foes before me, I expected a hefty reward. I was granted it, but not without a cost. For when I tried to return to my grandmother's home to inform my father of the good news and the victories won, I found a dead body. A man and an elderly woman with twenty stab wounds between them, all from the same knife. Our knife. In that moment, the glory of victory was lost on me. I was a boy of only seventeen, lost and panicked. I had nowhere to turn, no clue what to think. So without cause, without asking permission, I marched up the many steps of Castley Rock to speak with Tywin Lannister himself. Hello guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, A Game of Thrones. But today we'll be beginning a custom house playthrough as Lord Kevin of House Crate, the ruler of Serpent Hall. Yes, this is a custom house playthrough in the Westerlands here, during the Ground Stag, as a lot of this, this man's rise to fame, despite still being very young, both him and his father's rise to fame came during the, the times before. And now we find ourselves in a perfect opportunity to utilize this uh, new position of ours to prove ourselves worthy of uh, a man we are extremely loyal to, Lord Tywin. As you see, a lot of gold. Uh, this is mostly from his father's full lifetime as um, starting as a hedge knight and then eventually becoming a full knight loyal to House Lannister and clearly earn him a decent bit. This is, it's, it's good to be back, I've been away for a little while, I've had a couple illnesses and injuries, still have one injury to my shoulder in fact. And I just needed a break as well to focus on some other matters. And uh, now that I am back, it, it feels more right to do a CK3 custom house and, and, and try it out here just because of it. You know, it feels more. I still think CK2 is better roleplay, but the stability, the customization that this game has makes it a little more, a little more fun to mess around with. Well, let's get around into it. We are going to need a maester. Definitely not going to need a loan. At least for now. I'm not building, rebuilding Harren Hall or something, am I? I uh, don't want a tourney. I do want... The warrior makes most sense due to his life, but obviously he could also be the stranger. Hmm. He's not... You know, he's not too bad, but like, he's just not Honorable doesn't mean he still wouldn't support the. I don't know. He's he's very much more about honor, the warrior, but I still think the warrior makes sense here. So we'll go for him. Lifestyle choices. Let's. Intrigue just makes most sense. We'll go for the dread. We want to rule a bit with an iron fist to to prove ourselves worthy, and also our first goal is probably going to be to unite lands point. Under our own control. This is a very good region to own. Once we own this, you know, still by Castle Rock, able to earn uh, aid and keep petitioning Tywin. But from here, we can expand north. We want we want to be a powerful lord. We want to be one of the most powerful lords under Tywin. That's my aim for this lifetime with Lord Kevin. And if you think that prowess is good, we have his sword. But 
Let's rename this. I think Viper. That's a cool snake name. I, I, I literally was spending the last two minutes before recording going, which snake name's cool? Because, you know, we've already got uh, a crate, which is a type of snake, although obviously with a K and without the E. And now we have serpents here. It's all about snakes. It's all about snakes. That's what our house is based around. Yeah, so now we're going to need a bride. I prefer one in the Westerlands that we could ally. But also I do want decent stewardship here. Tharwick is good, but only nine stewardship. Is there anyone with higher? Let's get culture Westerman. Sort by stewardship. Most of the lowborns. Um lot of fake houses. Lansdale, they're a bit young though. It's not a huge, uh, massively large house either. It looks like the nine that she had may actually be the best. Yeah, it seems like most people are on nine. Okay, we'll sort by relevance then. And I think we do go for I think we go for House Sarwick here. You know, they're not too far away, and they are still a Westerland's house. So we shall marry into... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, we shall marry into them. Let us sway our septum. Recruit you. Force you to be a knight. Most likely you will be an accolade as well. Let's look for a successor. Let's also invite some more knights. In fact, one thing I, we can do, we have so many gold, we should be able to upgrade. Yes, we can upgrade this from a castle. Get us up to the next level, a large keep, and we want to go all the way up. One day to a metropolis in Serpent Hall. That's sort of my my idea, is no matter how big we get, we're going to keep Serpent Hall. I want to make this place pretty impressive. And the clever keep... Um, let's build a quarry here. Makes uh, Men at Arms a bit cheaper. And then we'll buy Men at Arms only after that's built. Wait, I can, am I able to make a second accolade? I am. Sure, why not? Two accolades. And we'll wait for the maester to arrive from the citadel. Look at that. So efficient. 18 learning? Certainly not bad. Do I have a Castilian who's better at... No, not really. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get a knight who's good at um, stewardship to put it. Because I much prefer... Having a stewardship Castilian, just for I mean they're they're great in basically every matter. Yeah, let's switch you to the to that one. What well, Tyler is sharing with his brother Kevin, uh, who our character is named after, was good friends with our father. At least he hopes was good friends. Let's you know. We're in a position now where we can get a claim. Do we want to claim inside or outside of the region? House Torrentine, ruled by Vickery, is... It's a level 2 holding. Okay, they're both level 2 holdings. And it makes more sense just to stay inside of our regions and attack there. And then get the Crown Authority up. Look at that. Become a well-oiled machine when it comes to CK3, it feels like. <laughs> okay, he's also on level 2. Uh, level 3 is when the, the problem comes. So he, he's at attorney then. Yeah, switch attorney. Oh, the re... Is it Vault Hightowers? Yeah, it's it's Mace of the Reach. Not hosting it at Hightower, though. For some reason, hosting it at Mandeside. A squire? Sure. A squire of the Lord of Lands Point. I am one of the best knights in the realm. 28 prowess. It's hard to beat. Unless you're Robert with 45. But 
this this game increases prowess by a lot compared to the base. Let's train them. Seems swordsmanship. Yeah, swordsmanship and horse riding. Better. Let's do swordsmanship for now. Excellent. Take a look at some of these knights. Ooh, we'll take the 16 prowess for sure. 25 prowess on Tibet. What a beast. Do I have any with good stewardship here? Surprisingly, knights aren't good at stewardship. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Are there any characters with good stewardship I could invite, maybe? None in my realm. None in top realm. Oh, I was sort of made the wrong one. That's why. Hmm. Yeah, let's, I want to get indoors. We'll just pick the easy one. Intelligent as well. You might be good to have around if you would. You wouldn't accept an invite to my court. Why? Just as a base reluctance. Damn. Because he would be very good because he was also intelligent. So I could uh, get him a bride. Maybe land him once I have, uh, you know, the space for it. Yeah, get Tibbet as his successor. Tibbet looks great. I already have a worthy successor. Fiona. Well, already a legendary knight. Has Brienne been born yet? Indeed, she actually is five years old. Let's see. Let's keep him on this for now, just because I don't really have a better choice other than Stefan, maybe. Hmm. I don't think nine stewards. Yeah, it's only gonna give me plus. Yeah, plus two tax percent isn't great. Mm -hmm. Let's get bonus piety then, at least. Because we're definitely not a man of faith. We're we're gaining very little from throwing traits. And Tywin's returned from the tourney. Why don't we try to sway him? Just a bit. Because he doesn't like anyone. But if we can get in his good books, that's going to be great for us. I do hope uh, soon to be playing CK2 again. And my, my hope is to do a recolonize Valyria game. It's going to be a lot of fun. Obviously, Agot is sort of my... I feel like Crusader Kings is just more fun in Agot. I maybe want to do, in future, a historical game, maybe with uh, uh, Balduin. Balduin the first of Jerusalem. But... That'll, that'll depend. You know, I don't want to push too many games on myself at once. Uh, and I wanted to talk, sort of focus on these games and get them in the best quality... I can for you guys. Three years left on a large keep. Makes sense, it's pretty expensive. Am I able to... Search for a caravan mass. Oh, because, yeah, the position. And I could... Ooh, my wife is pregnant. Wonderful. I do have the intelligent trait, so let's keep our fingers crossed our son inherits that. Uh, okay, let's see. Level up quarries or get hill forts or cattle. Let's get quarries level two first, just because, again, it makes better arms cheaper. 
A well-organized court. Man, my wife's excellent. No complaints from me. <laughs> if I can keep my court organized, then I see nothing but that. It's nothing but a boon. Let's find the intrigue. This is interesting. I feel that like we have to go just for this one first, just because this gives us some actual use for our intrigue early on. See it done on a claim and fabricate a cook there. And immediately we're going to move you on to Jace. And he's weak that I think we just... Do we strike now? We still have the alliance right just in case he calls anyone in. Yeah. Because he doesn't have anyone now, but he could marry to call someone in. And we don't want to take that risk. Right, who's leading this? You know, I'll lead this. I'm, I'm a bit better than he is. Even if this helmet does look stupid. Am I able to change this helmet? Oh, how did he discover it? Let's pick a helmet which actually makes sense. Even though no helmet at all. Yeah, these helmets look very stupid. <laughs> Not really a goddy helmets. Let's go with no headwear. <laughs> I mean, look, if Jon Snow can fight with no helmet for no reason. I can fight with no helmet for no reason. I guess that means Fiona died. Oh, the fort level's too high. Oof. Okay, I will call him in then. It's going to cost me a little bit, but I just don't want to sit on this, this fort forever. If the fort level's too high. Let's get him over here. That, that means she died in childbirth. Ooh. That is a tragic beginning. And he has no trait on him. Either inherited nothing from me. Reynard, Gareth, Alan, Ingram, Fiamore, Creston, Peros. Let's go with Philip. And now I have to seek out a new wife. Uh, Lansdale here. Yeah, pretty good. Jenna Lansdale. I could search and try and find someone with intelligence. Or just to try and look for... We'll have a quick look at inheritable traits just to see. She's great. And she's a Westman, but she's lowborn. I mean, I was lowborn. Do I have a major problem with doing this? Actually, no. I think it, I think it's okay. I I was a lowborn. I've only just been made a lord. It makes sense that there's not many lords who'd want to marry me. Here he comes, Lord Sarwick. I make the siege quicker, at least. Yes, we. Oh, you're right. We do need a wet nurse. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. Here he comes again. I imagine this time you're just gonna confront him there. How many months are we looking at? Thirteen months. What happened to Cersei? Executed by Robert. Did he learn of her? Yeah, okay. Her crimes were made public, I think, is probably the reason behind her execution. Only 18 years old, though, and that means we're not going to get a Joffrey. Interesting. Well, hopefully Robert remarries, otherwise um, we're going to have Stannis on the throne, and that's a fate no one wants. Sieging that down. Spend a little bit of my prestige to cozy on up with him. Be like, oh, you're you're the absolute best, Ty, when everyone loves you. <laughs> I need an antiquarian. 
Are they expensive? I only have poor ones. Okay, we won't bother them. It's too low a rank. Let's... Do I need to... I may need to sway... I could raise him to nobility. She found a... Why would she found a new dynasty with that? Why wouldn't she just join mine? I'll do it anyway. Just because she's my wife. Well, apparently she loved that so much she uh, <laughs> slept with me that same night. Excellent work, boy. 20 now, we're hopefully becoming a knight of some renown. That's like that's the last of their army defeated. So this should just immediately end it once this is taken. Definitely siege my arm should be the first one I add. Let's disband that. And let's Put you on controlling there. Would be better. Yeah, Alton is better. Let's put Alton on that. Train my squire in swordsmanship. I have prisoners. Good. Once I get my uh, traits up, we can make use of those, so to speak. Let us build, let's build some walls there. I think you're just about to finish this. And you've still got another year. On the keep. We shouldn't. So yeah, we'll have case soon. Though I kind of just want to sit and let our numbers go up. A bit because he should only have about you know, 1.7. Goodness me, am I am I cursed? Had a wife die in childbirth and now had a stillborn daughter. Oof. Not a great start for him. Uh, let's build up some cattle. How long is it gonna take? It will take. I can check in here. What am I doing? Six years. Poof. They really hate me then. Oh, he needs to be a knight. Okay. Where is he? Cyril. Force him to be a knight. Uh, see it then. And then we can... Here we go. How many total do we have? 1.4. We don't have any men at arms. Well, this is level 2 now, right? Yes, we can, we can buy some men at arms. Maybe not Trevor yet. I know I said we need them first, but I ripped him as we had no one. There's no point buying these if we have none others. Bowmen. Rainbringers. They're twice as expensive. Is it this honourable weapon by some? The men at Westerns have no calm about employing crossbows on the battlefield or otherwise. Hmm. So they're, they're, just, they're just better crossbowmen. They're very expensive, though. I think we just have to go with light footmen for now. Go for size 2 light footmen. And station them in the keep. And here... I can think... Get dark insights for the torture bonuses. Because I believe I should already have some prisoners. And I think they could do with a little bit of torture. And yes, it's going to put me in the negatives, but I'm not exactly a man of faith. Lord Tywin is having a grand tournament. Am I not able to join? Is it Why is it not in my invitations? Did I miss it? Is he already started? Is that why? Yeah, it must already have started. The Sapphire. That's an interesting name. 
Look at that. 20 stewardship for my wife. Nice. Um... Get prestige. What does well-known dynasty give? I team prestige. Let's go for that one. Did it work? Yes, it did. Okay. Training to ride your horse. Hopefully, he's well on his way to becoming a knight. I could check, but I'm lazy. There we go. He is take it a while. Otherwise it took that long. Here we go, we now have a hit this, but we have no money to actually build any bigger here yet. So we'll just sit and hopefully grow our income. There we go, level two castle. Massively increases the garrison. And of course the levies. So we're already up to one thousand two hundred. Does that outmatch him? It does a little bit, yeah. But I don't have a claim on his title yet, do I? No, I do not. I could put you on there. It'll take a long while, but... A good son, even if you aren't intelligent for shaped. Ah, damn, lost a bit of relation with Tywin. Could have got good relation with him if I made it to the tourney. That's on me. Robert went to the tourney and it's now leaving. Okay, my wife's pregnant again. Hopefully this time it goes better for her. Very unfortunate with the last pregnancy. Let's see, I have a claim here. I don't even have the prestige for it. I just need to sit and wait for a bit, I think. Nothing wrong in sitting and waiting sometimes. So Orson doesn't like me. I'll sway Orson then. A few powerful vassals, even though as soon as I become a duchy, they no longer become powerful vassals because they are just mares. So nothing, nothing to... Oh my goodness. So she, she must have something in her code that just makes her very low fertility. Can I fabricate a claim Tywin? It'll be very low percentage, right? Yeah. Is it still worth it, though? Nah, it costs you relations, I think, when you do it that way. It's not a claim of faction. That's fine. Um... Could go them into a fight. I need 51% of it, so I would need case. But if I had case, I'd have surely more than 50%. 50, 50%. I'd have one, two, three, four. I mean, he only has two. Not sure how I don't have 51%, honestly. Or is it because the du jour is different? Oh yeah, this isn't so this isn't part of the jour, so I only have two. This is the jour part of Tarek. Okay, that does make sense then. But there is no Lord of Tarek. Because Tywin owns most of it. Let's tr Oh I've suddenly got better at everything. Let's train him in strategy then. Just because I've never done it before. Look at that. I'm just becoming a literal goat. Amazing and everything. Should get one of these first, surely. Alright, we'll get, get on Trebuchet and station it. And then now we'll let our money just grow exponentially and just let it do whatever it wants. It's funny because early on we're going to be really struggling with money. But as things get greater, we're going to be having so much more money. So, so, so much more. Let's find secrets in Castle Rock. Another way to try and get a hook. 
Robert's doing a tournament in Visenia's Hill. I'm not the top. If it, if it, I should have gone to the Taiwan one more. I'm not going to go to that one. It seems like way too far a journey to make. There we go. Nearly up to full size. 22k. Certainly not a bad army. Pretty impressive, he asked me. Outnumbers him for sure. And outnumbers Case. She's pregnant again. Need to earn more prestige. Yeah, I need to get rid of you. Ooh. Whoa. Hello. Oh, he's going to massively boost up my taxes. Absolutely. New intrigue perk. We could go for murder scheme power. Dread. Not losing piety. Yeah, this, this, we should go for that one first. Just so that we can... Do a little bit of torturing right now, in fact. Dark Insights Prowess, we And... I can't torture him again, that's me. He died while in my dungeons. Rip. Okay, he couldn't find anything there, we'll move him. We'll find, try and find secrets in East Point then. Yes, this pursuit is awful. What what is it? I'm confused by what this one is. This legalistic. So the realm's legalistic. Monthly prestige per dread minus one percent. Do I have minus forty five percent? Christ, okay. That's really bad. Because prestige means a lot in this game. That feels very overpowered. Especially since my natural dread is 45 right now. Uh, maybe I move off intimidation focus then. Just because I really need the prestige. And hopefully that will change on a month tick. Driven swordsmanship again. Hopefully he's actually learning. A daughter. A genius daughter. Kellen, Lyria, Richella, Priscilla, Elise. Aran, Beatrice, Richella. These names are so weirdly made in the male ones. If <laughs> Emma, sure. Emma Crate. I think we shall end it there for this first episode. A bit more of a just a general introduction to who we're dealing with here in Lands Point, to House Serpentine. Claimed ourselves uh, Kinhold here. Slowly bringing it up to our control. And our eyes turn towards Land's Point here. It's only 23 years old, still full life ahead of us, and lots of lands potentially here. Hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode of our custom house. A very interesting start. Hopefully our prestige will fix up a bit. Hopefully that negative modifier on the percentage is going to go. It's only down to 44%. Oh, because my tread has to slowly drop. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, well, we we have a large army. We may not have the prestige for anything, but we have the army we're hoping for. And with this army, a duchy title feels absolutely on the way to me. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I shall see you guys in the next episode. 
Until then.